Joining us is former New York Congresswoman, Independent Women's Forum Board of Directors member Nan Hayworth. Nan, Congresswoman, it's great to see you as always. I'll point out, though, that Rand Paul is still a no on Gina Haspel, yep. and Senator John McCain encouraged his colleagues to reject Haspel. They are not doing it, and we do have Democrats getting on board. Yeah, which is a great thing. And of course, Dagan, uh, the Democrats from red states and those from states where they can afford politically to uh, swing a bit toward the Republican uh, nominee, that's that's why you see them turning that way. I think they, they all recognize that and there's been a big outcry about the hypocrisy of Democrats who voted previously for uh, CIA director, I think it was Brennan, who was number four in the agency when they were doing waterboarding. Uh, Gina Haspel was far inferior to him in the ranks, and so to oppose her on the basis of that policy uh, seems hypocritical at best. So I'm glad to see that they're coming around because she's a very worthy nominee. Doctor, I think the, uh, her confirmation vote was won when Khalid Sheikh Mohammed came out against her. Right, yes. Seems like a, James, a, a good you want to have. Yes, yes. As a Republican, I was uh, rather hopeful that perhaps they would, uh, the Democrats would cry for him to uh, come and testify. I think that would have been uh, maybe even better. But yeah, she's uh, uh, definitely, uh, it, especially when we talk about women, right? Here is a worthy woman uh, who happens to be a Republican, and it looks uh, unseemly indeed to a I, for the man. I just feel like you always have to look at it from the opposite perspective. If this woman was sitting there and nominated by a Democrat and she was treated the way that she has been treated, oh. the things said about her yeah. by Democrats, yeah. then there would be, uh, by Republicans, then it would be massive outrage and it would be leading every mainstream media newscast. She would be on the yeah. front page of newspapers about the persecution of this woman. Absolutely. The continuing war on women. That's right. And while this was Kamala Harris's, uh, you know, typical uh, arrogant grandstanding, which was uh, just purely political, and that is is truly offensive. And thinking people, you know, we need an, a thinking electorate, thinking people listening to someone like Kamala Harris assailing Gina Haspel about the morality of a policy that she had nothing to do with is just really stunning. Now, as women, we want women who have earned the job to get the job. Precisely. Who have put, and in, the, in this case, Gina Haspel will likely be, will almost certainly be the next CIA director. Based on the vote count from Fox News yesterday, if McCain doesn't vote, Paul remains no, and even Jeff Flake, if he turns out to be a nay, Haspel should secure at least 52 yes. And McCain and Flake, I think, unfortunately, their uh, votes are also tainted there by uh, the real opposition of the president, and Gene Haspel is the recipient of that.